Good morning, boss lady. Good so, morning. Sorry, I'm a little shaky there. So today we had a, yesterday we had a great day. Yes. Today, not so great a day so far. I mean, it's not terrible. Our washing machine broke. Yeah. So now we got to go buy a new washing machine. An expense we did not expect. No. But it is 10 years old, so. That's never fun, but right. It could be worse. So I'm just going to suck it up and we're going to figure it out. Yeah. Go buy a new one. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you need to wash clothes. The employee would complain. If you had to wear He's clothes. already complaining. Yeah. Because I, what we realized is like it may have been broken for like a week or two. I've been saying something to um, our oldest daughter, like, you're putting too many clothes in, you know. Because like they weren't washing right, I guess. It, and then when I checked it this morning, yeah, it definitely, it fills up with water, the soap, and then that's all it does. And then it goes through the cycle, doesn't do anything but hold the water, soap, and the clothes, and then it drains at the end mm -hmm. in a spin cycle. So basically it just, so the clothes we wear probably have, laundry detergent on it still yeah he doesn't think it's rinsing properly so, but we'll take care of that we have 12 to do today we'll see how many we get done i'm shooting for 16 even yeah. though we only have 12 so if we can get that done then tomorrow's gonna be we'll start pulling people back some and this will be the first time we ever had like easy mowing going forward yeah we have 12 on the list but two of them are fairly big properties so yeah three of them are fairly big properties four of them are fairly big properties oh yeah who's betty parry oh betty Aaron, oh i forgot about Aaron. so if we don't oh, get yeah. to one of the bigger ones we put tomorrow we're actually doing four for tomorrow's schedule while we're up here today okay so showing all them oh okay so we will get 14 or 15 done today, I think. And a couple fertilizers, too, so. Yeah, like six, I think. But, okay, I'll show you before and after. Yep, Boss is doing work. work. So the one you see behind me right there, that's the first one of the day. You've seen this one? Oh, I think I see bees. Hopefully there's no bees in this yard, but let me unload this, and then we'll get this one done, guys. Got number one done. I gotta say, this might be our easiest one. Off to the next five in a row we have. Boss is doing work in the car. Getting stuff done? Yes. Look guys, when we come here on a Wednesday, we're not doing that no more. No, I know. We what keep... is it? This is the gauntlet of trash cans. Yeah. <laughs> we remembered this the last time we got backed up. We came on a Wednesday and we were like, oh, we're never coming on a Wednesday again. And we forgot today when we pulled up. It's like a gauntlet, man. You gotta go in out of all the trash cans. So Here's remind us, we need to pull it back to a Tuesday. Yeah, I did for two weeks from now, or okay. 13 days from now. Okay, I just had to show you guys that. So good morning. Good morning. We already did a good morning. Yeah, but, but um, we got a package. We went to um, the, the post, post office. office yesterday and yeah, picked up this night. package. So we knew that this was coming. Somebody actually told us that they sent us something, and this is our good friend Billy Goat. Yeah, they're out of Maryland. Yes. Billy Goat um, Lawn Care. So he sent Carl a chest strap uh, so that he can get you guys first person views. Uh -oh. <laughs> so we have to figure out how to set that up. It came with a clip, I think, for his phone. So we have all of that. So thank you very much, Billy Goat. I'm going to have to figure out how to put that together, that, that together and put it on. And this really made me smile. <laughs> I have my red Revan Red Rachel Riding Hood hat now. <laughs> so thank you very much. I'm gonna definitely wear it. You know, I love my multi purpose bandanas. So okay. very so, nice. So we're so at thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for all that. Um he's been watching us since the beginning, I think. Yeah, and we really that. appreciate it. We actually got to meet meet them. And hopefully we will again at the GIE. I think they're going. Right? Yeah, I think so too. And wow. I don't think, um, I think they'll get to spend a couple more days there maybe. Cool. This year, yeah. We're looking forward to it. Yes. And anybody else who wants to hang out and meet, I'd like to hang out with a few people. Yes. So we're at our next five. We're going to get done. We come across an issue on these lawns. Yes. We had a client email us 
and say that there was a pile of leaves in his yard. Mm -hmm. How long? That have been there for a while. How long are we going to leave them there? Well, first of all, I have video of every yard we mow, mm -hmm. and there was no pile of leaves in his so yard. So this is another reason why YouTube and documenting stuff is good. Yes. Because we were able to... Pull up the video, take a screenshot, and show him that there wasn't there the last time. Mm -hmm. So, and it's only been 13 days. So somebody bagged a whole bunch of debris up, branches and everything, and piled it in his front yard. Yes. Don't know who. Yeah. So what would you guys do? I now have to take another picture of all this debris and And bags. send it to the client. And we think it might have been one of the client's another the client top. that's yeah so if that's the case um and it was put there because it definitely want they want us to remove it then somebody's getting charged more money so we have to find out where this came from so that we don't it's not from the client's yard that no. that it's in so we're gonna have to play i guess detective rachel and carl yeah I say just kick it out into the road and leave it there and mow around it. So. And then when they call us I again. Unless I put it on the other side of the road. Okay. But, all right, so let's go investigate and see what's going on. Here's the bag, and whoever put this bag here, put it here and it killed all the grass underneath it mm -hmm. that we fertilize and do. I'm curious where this came from. I guess I'm just gonna move it over to here. Okay, we're done these ones. I ended up fertilizing the one all the way up there, this one here, this one here, and then one over here. So that's what, one, two, four we fertilized in here. With a five. So next week we'll be able to see a difference because from like right here, I gotta say straight across, see how the lines are going this way, not the diagonal ones, but there's a swath there that we don't fertilize, so we'll see what the difference is, how green it is. I'm hoping, because that's the neighbors we don't do. Her yard goes all the way across the ditch, but we still mow it anyway, so. Well, that was six so far, so let's get over and do, we got two more seven and eight easy ones and one fertilizer over there. So I was watching Tony at Tony's Lawn Care. Um, you guys should go check him out, he's a good guy. Um, he was saying that he picked up a neighbor it was flat, the perfect small yard. This would be the perfect small yards right here. Just these two and no back. But what makes them not so perfect is it goes down the hill by that tree, down the hill over there, up the hill over there. So, but I think it took us an hour and 20 minutes to do all five of these with all the fertilizing, pulling weeds. So not too bad, not too bad. Look, the boss emerged. She's beat, I bet, up and down hills. Let me blow her off. The boss said she doesn't want to get out. Why not? Because you turned down my air. We're on number seven and eight already, and it's only 123. We're not? Yeah. You excited? <laughs> she looks like it, guys. <laughs> uh. So you're going to mow this one. So the mystery of the bag was not solved, I guess. Oh, I know who it was. We put we, two and two we together. We 100% kinda... know who it was. So now we're going to put a letter out in the whole development that if you want tra if you want debris and sticks and stuff taken away, you have to put it in a bag and we'll take it away. For and on it. a hard surface, please. Yeah, we haven't decided how much. Either $5 for a little brown bag or $10. The boss says $10, I, I say $10. 5 because it's a small bag. And then if they leave the debris in the lawn from pruning, depending on how much there is. And I have to pick it up. Then it's going to be $25 a bag. Yeah. So, the thing that irked us about this one is they put somebody in there, which I know who it was, put all the debris on another client's yard that hasn't been home for a while. And then we got an email from that client saying another neighbor said there's been debris sitting in the front yard for a while. So we had to go back and show them a picture that we caught it last time and it wasn't there. Well, whoever put it there put it right on the grass and it killed the grass. Between 13 days ago and, now. and today, which I talked to another client in that pocket development and they said that it's been there for quite a few days. 
So I'm assuming right after we mowed the last time, they decided to go put their debris on this other client's yard and not tell anybody. So it sat there and killed the lawn because mm -hmm. the trash people didn't pick it up. And this is a lawn that he does pay to have it treated. Fertilized. And so what would you guys do in this situation? Because we're not responsible for taking up any prunings or anything. Mm -mm. We just mow and pull weeds. And now that area is definitely gonna need more seed than what we normally would have done. Mm -hmm. I didn't take mm -hmm. the debris today because I don't know who to charge. We put it across the street. Let me get out of the sun so you can see better. For some reason, this thing doesn't record in selfie in the sun too good. So it's this one here and this one over here. She's going on a mission, guys. I guess to go clip something. So yeah, it's all that, all this over there. That one, she's clipping off some extra hangies. She wants me to clip some in the back. You guys, we still have to take this tree down. It's been five months, but she said it's fine to wait till fall. So she doesn't want it to grow under the concrete. See how it's pushing it up the roots. So we're gonna take it down and stump grind it. We'll show you guys that. I'll get to learn to use a stump grinder. boss I got stung. the client told you there were bees over there last I know the week. client did tell me there were bees there and I actually thought that they got rid of them how many times did you get stung I think maybe twice where because here hurts but this is a bad one where to get you oh man you swell up like me I better put some Benadryl on it you should take a bottle of Benadryl no I don't want to be tired. You make me take it. 
Yeah, but you swell up more than me. Okay, I'm gonna go snip them too, then fertilize them too. Right, put the fertilizer down on this one. Let's not get stung, right? Yeah, I got There's some recording of me fertilizing guy. These are easy. I have to go do that. I have to go do that one across the street now. And then we're done in here after the boss blows everything off. Stripes this way. Everything looks good. So guys, I figured while the boss is blowing everything off instead of me sitting around in the truck, I would start pruning this pear tree. I pruned up enough to fill up the whole back of the truck. So sorry I'm spinning. So I took off a lot of the bottoms of it. Next time I come up, I'll bring some chainsaw with us and cut off some more. And every time we're here, I'll get it. And then by the time we do it, there won't be much left, hopefully. And then we'll just build. So, instead of sitting here. But let's get to the next one. That's number 9 and 10 we're doing. And I fertilized one of them. So I think we're going to fertilize 8 today or 7 or 8 of them today. But that's where you make your extra money, guys. Fertilizing, seed, aerations coming up. Go ahead and get into that. You don't need a license to do aeration seed and um, probably put starter fertilizer down in most states because it doesn't have a pre-emergent or post-emergent in it. So guys, get on that because that's a big income maker if you're in cool season. Okay. So guys, that. here's number nine. We have a lot of this, uh, what is this, wild violet creeping up in here now. Yeah. I can't wait to be able to spray all this in another month. Right? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know why. Another one, because I went to go grab my weed eater and look, it would be right there, not where it's supposed to be. So, so we're done number nine. Ain't bad. Took us longer because I had to go get my weed eater. It says we have a rain alert out here. It says rain's coming, boss. I didn't think so, but let's go get this other one done. As soon as she's done putting the mole things back that don't work really. Uh, we're doing the boss is gonna push my it started raining, but I don't I can't check my radar right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed eat all this and I'll show you how low the river is now, even though we've been getting rain here and there. Look at it down there. See how low and calm it is? It's not super low. They built a new wall back here to try to keep the water out. So we're off the number eleven, it's a big one. So the boss is done up here. She pushed on everything and blew everything. Quick and easy, quick and easy. That's the way I like it. For the boss. So this is number 11 for the day, right? We didn't get 12 like we had no. on the schedule, but we got 11 done. We're at the last one. And it's just crazy how you go from having like an excellent day one day. To having to buy a new washing machine. Buy a new washing machine, <laughs> get stung twice. Yeah, the boss got stung, so I'm sorry. Yeah, not very happy. But we'll put the couple tomorrow, and I'm sure we'll be able to get them done in more. So. so that's how long it is. It's pretty long, right, boss? Yeah. All clover and weeds. Clover and weeds. one for the last of the day and look if you notice there's only a few weeds in these beds I think Rachel picked a couple and I picked a couple but that's because we did them right evening boss so I will never make fun of Carl ever again for what about being Wait, afraid what? of what? bees <laughs> oh it hurts doesn't it it does hurt I couldn't even mow properly I'm sorry. Sorry, I had to home try. Sit. I know. So we ended up getting 11 done today and seven fertilized. Mm -hmm. That's so, not not bad for even missing what about an hour to buy a new washing machine. Yeah, we had to buy a new washing machine, and I had to help my boo boos a little. I was gonna get a vlogging camera. Yeah. So that's not 
had to buy a new washing machine. It's always that. something. Yeah, I know. So. I'll, I do eventually want to get a nice vlogging camera. Not a GoPro, guys, because I don't think GoPros are all that great. No. Oh, and look what Carl did to his wrist as we were bringing the washer in. Yeah, it scraped up against the brick wall. So we're a mess, but that's all right. Still a decent day. We're Can't still complain. Happy. Yep. Have to be happy. So we do appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, guys, be happy. Or, a, or wait, sorry. <laughs> I jumped the gun on that. One. <laughs> be happy. Or at least try. And one day I'll get more videos of the garden, guys. After we get it cleaned up, I'm kind of embarrassed of it. Yeah. It is kind of. A We've been really mess. busy. So. so.